Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about how do you read a sensor value and pack it into a CAN message and dispatch it on a CAN bus, right? So typically, the first thing that you need to do is configure your HAL or your MCAL layer with for initializing the required sensors. And then we'll have to generate the C code for reading the values. And then the next thing that we need is all our customers would give us a DBC file, right? Which contains the message and signals where, where you need to take the value from your sensor and pack it into that message. So our first job will be to convert this DBC file into a C structure, which can be included in our project. Then once we're able to read the sensor value and pack it into a message structure, the third thing will be to send it on the canvas. Right. So Ansit has developed a complete code generator that helps you configure and initialize your sensors, right? And then you could even map your sensor to a particular signal on the CAN bus. So it will take care of the packing and then dispatch it on the CAN bus. Right? So I'm going to give you a small demo of how that is done. So going back to our STM uh, ANSET based open ECU kit, which you have seen, right? So uh, this is a configured open ECU code in the STM cube IDE. I'm just opening up the IOC file to show you the different peripherals that I've already configured right, with the HAL layer generated. So I've got the GPIO, the ADC, the timer to handle cyclic CAN messages, then CAN to send the CAN messages on the CAN bus and the I2C enable. Right. So um, I'm just zooming this for you so that you can see my structure. So if you see here, my two, my I2C, my two LEDs, my CAN TX and RX, my switch and my ADC and my switch too. They're all configured and the source code is generated as seen here. Right. Once you've done that, the next job is to go and configure our ECU. Right? So I first select my board and then I can now select which peripherals I'm going to use as my input peripheral. So I'm going to use a potentiometer. I'm going to use a switch. I'm going to use the temperature sensor, the humidity sensor, on the ANSET open ECU board and I say finish and now the new configuration editor looks something like this right if you forgot to include a, any peripheral then you could come and tick that out here as well and then you go to CAN TX because our idea is to read the values from this input peripherals and then pack it onto the CAN bus right and then Import the DBC file, which is given by your customer. Right. And then add that to our message window. So I am now going to send engine data. You see that here? That's the message with the ID 64. And these are the signals that it's going to pack. The next thing you need to do is decide if it's a hard-coded value or a random value or a sensor-based value. So if you come to input type, you have the option of saying it's input, hard-coded, random or input. So I'm going to say the value for the petrol level is random. And then value for the engine power is hard-coded. And value for the engine force is going to come from an input device. I'm going to use the humidity sensor to and the idle or the running state is going to come from the switch that I enabled. So if I turn on the switch, it'll go to running state. The temperature comes from the temperature sensor. So I take it to the temperature sensor and the engine speed comes from the potentiometer. 
so I've enabled the potentiometer, right? And it's a cyclic message that fires every 50 milliseconds, right? So I save this and now I just right click, export my ECU firmware. And then again, I need to select, it's an open ECU code and then finish. And you see the magic happen, right? Just refresh the project once. Right. All the required BSW layer code is generated here, right? With some files related to the fan, the main, and the powertrain DBC is generated here. And you can put that up into this folder. Right. And then, uh, right, you just have to make a build. I'm so sorry, I am just trying to figure out what's the problem. Right, I'm just going to go to main and then PV include these. The imports are correct. Let me just check that. Then I go here, the initialization code is correct. The main code is correct. Let me just build it again. And all the error is gone. Yeah, just one variable that was missing. You see the magic happen. And then I just open my Python hardware parallelly for you. And I will flash my code. Wasn't that easy? I just had to tell him which peripheral packs into which signal of the CAN message and all the code is generated and all of that gets flashed on. And now I just have to start my, you see there's engine data coming in, right? Um, I've assigned petrol level as random. So you see it randomly changing. I'm now controlling the potentiometer. You see it's going down to zero as I keep rotating it. And then I slowly increase it and the RPM changes, right? I've got the button, so I'm pressing the button. The idle running state will change to running. I release the button, it goes to idle. I press the button, it goes to running, right? I've got a engine power, which I have hard coded, right? So it remains on one kW kilowatt. I've got a humidity sensor and a temperature sensor and you see the humidity value is changing it's on engine force right it's it's gone up to 57 58 59 and now i now release it back and it's going to drop back to 40s because that's what is the value out there so so all i had to do was come back to my id import a dbc map the signals onto the dbc to the input sensors right based on what i had configured and it started working now let's add something more to see if it's working or not working so i went to input i forgot that i had to enable switch 2 so i came back i enabled it i came back here and i changed that to switch 2 so my engine power is based on the values of switch 2 and I can now right click on this. So earlier it was hard coded to 100. Now it's based on the value of the switch. And I could just export, change it to unset open ECU, finish, and refresh the project once. Right. And then just move this code that I have here over here and build it. And I'm good to flash, flash it. And then I go back to my TS master. And now if you see the engine power value, it's varying because it's a touch sensor button. And based on the value of the button, it keeps fluctuating, right? So, uh, 
right and all of that works well and I can now the potentiometer the engine speed is varying so great so I can just stop this and go back to my slider and I was able to achieve this interested in looking at the video um, and you want to use this tool Pingas is available for users to use this tool and the same code generator is also available for NXP with Ansit. Thank you so much.